Hi guys, Kim Dia here. I'm back with a custom journal for uh, Catherine and her daughter, um, Brianna. And she wanted something pink and girly. She wanted fabric on the outside, so we chose these fabrics together. When you do a custom order, you get to choose how you want your journal to look like. They added this beautiful flower on the front, some tags in these pockets. Her daughter loves rainbows, so I included a little bit of rainbows. An antique um, clothespin here that I clothespin some lace, a crocheted flower. I used one of the ball pins to um, add these pearls on it. Some pretty laces dangling from the ring. She wanted the rings so that her daughter can add to the journal and it can get bigger. And I used some extra large rings and there's plenty of room to grow with it. There's some different laces. This fun stretchy lace that has roses on it. This seam binding with some pretty embossed, some pink, some creams, and then this crocheted um, lace. So let's head on inside. So, so on the inside I did some lace. I did lots of sewing. I sewed lot, lots of lace on. Um, I have a vintage game score sheet and a vintage um, calendar card here that she can use to journal on. And this is Oreo. Say hi Oreo. Um, I used some Prima papers. Um, there's some little things here in this pocket. It's glued on some cute little pieces of ephemera. Coffee dyed some paper some stickers, printed out some of the things that she loves. So she loves rainbows and unicorns, so I found this cute image with both. This is some drawing paper, because she likes to write and draw, so I included coffee dyed paper and the pattern paper for her to write on, and then some drawing paper as well. And this is vintage drawing paper, so. I left the tails on, so I hope she likes it. If she doesn't, she can clip them off. Um, or she can let me know before I send it and I can clip it off. This little tag here with some crocheted doily. An envelope pocket with some paper in it and a little bit of note card there. And this side can be like a mat for a photo. It's more Prima paper with, uh, with an eyelet lace. more prima vapor here with this beautiful butterfly and rose thing on it and this beautiful lace here um, is real delicate uh, and so it flops around real easy but it's all I think it just turned out real beautiful um, lots of different colors of pink in here she wanted pinks and rosy tones and creams um, her daughter also likes Alana of Elor or Elor of Alana or uh, it's a Disney cartoon character <laughs> and so I included that in here too. Tried to include some of her likes in here. Here's a file folder divider that I added a bag on and it has uh, some index cards in it along with this little butterfly and this was gifted to me from um, Vani here on YouTube. I can't think of what her YouTube name is. Here's some little tags, a unicorn, and then some index cards and a rainbow card here in this pocket. So it's a double pocket on this side. Some pink lace on this paper. Thought she could add a picture or or some special little note inside this frame, sticker frame. Another little envelope with some stuff in it. This is a clear um, pocket that I have put um, an index card that I glued on a unicorn image and an, a vintage dictionary page of 
definition of a unicorn and same with the rainbow it has the vintage a vintage dictionary definition of rainbow on there another envelope this one has a beautiful unicorn image in it a vintage one tried to keep this all vintage looking with the coffee dyed paper um, I use some of the coffee dyed papers made it into a little notebook here that goes in this envelope that I glued on the back of the envelope so it's a kind of a double envelope with a little pocket right there as well another of the Disney character images a little note card here and this little envelope has a little piece of paper in it and it has a crocheted flower along with a vintage button on it some crocheted lace and then I made a lace pocket here in the back with some more um, Scrabble game cards vintage another one of those um, index cards and a cute little vintage playing card and the back on this one is plain so she can write on it as well and then on the back I stamped right here this book is Brianna's and um, I aged up the fabrics a little bit with a little bit of um, tea dyed or uh, ink both the front and the back to give the fabric a little bit more of an aged look so I hope that Catherine and her daughter really enjoy this book and um, I guess that's it for this time I'll see you guys next time bye